December 2018. Uh, we've had a period of prolonged rain for the last few weeks now, and this is uh, the result in one of the streams at Hardcastle Crags. So this is the inflow just on the, uh, the boundary of the woodland, and you can see we've got some quite heavy flow there. Um, and in the distance, you may just be able to see uh, a series of logs that are placed on the wooden floor. So we're going to go down there and have a look at what happens to this water further down the slope. This is the first tier of logs that are placed on parallel to the contours on this slope. Uh, so we can see the water starting to break up into separate streams uh, and we've got a, a series of these tiers as we go further down the slope. So we'll see what happens a bit lower down. On the slope now and uh, you can see that much of the energy out of this water has actually gone now. Um, we've got like sheet flow across that area there. Uh, we've got some ponding going on. Uh, there's a little pond in the distance you can see there. So we'll go and have a closer look. So there's a little pond we saw from above. Um, we've got a few rivulets there. Much slower flow. Um, more logs, more logs and a wet area, a little bit of flow there, a little bit of flow in the distance. I mean prior to this, these logs being placed, this, this water was just coming straight down this hill uh, in, in a single rivulet at some speed. And we can see that much of that energy is now gone. This is at the bottom and what we have is some very small amounts of flow just about there. We've got a little pond going on there. But the rest of this wooden floor is actually saturated. So we've actually reduced all that flow from the top uh, quite considerably I and mean, a lot of it has actually been absorbed by the wooden floor it looks like. Um, so that is the result of Probably about three half days work up there. Quite tricky on a steep slope, but nevertheless, that stream is effectively been treated by that process. <laughs> 